Jared, have you had a chance to sort of look at the past month or so, and and you know, go for, to go from from where you were to where you where you have been in the last two games, and and kind of absorb all of that, and or or are you just so focused on on the day to day? Uh, yeah, you just got to be play it day by day. You know, things happen week to week with guys going down, so you just got to stay ready. Um, so when that, that the opportunity came, you know, I treated every week like. I was going to play, so you know I was preparing myself for that for that moment. Did you feel like? Do you feel like uh, with the opportunities you've been given, you you sort of earned a, a role in the rotation? Uh, probably more, maybe more than you did before you you got on the field. Um, really, that's not my call. That's up to the coaches. But whatever's asked of me, you know I'm ready for it. Going forward, yeah. Mark Nazaro. Yeah, and I'm just kind of curious um, with regard to Leonard Williams, uh, who's been going through some physical stuff this year and stayed in the in the lineup. What, what has that shown you this year, uh, and what have you kind of learned out of watching him operate and play through stuff? Um, I'm not too sure on what like he's been fighting through. I just know he's been banged up pretty bad, but like you know, seeing a guy compete at a high level every week, you know, that's a lot of respect, and you know. It makes me kind of we don't you don't want to follow suit you know you guys got guys like that putting it all on the line every week you know even with the way the season's been going you know he's still battling out there and not really tapping out so like that's a lot of respect for him. Paul Schwartz. Hey Jared. Hey. You got me. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, good. Um, as as a small school guy. Um, um, can you talk about the mindset you have to bring in an undrafted small school guy? You're competing against guys from big schools, you know, high draft picks and things. And um, how do you think you did with that? You know, is it always kind of an uphill uh, underdog mentality? Uh, you know, not really. It's just believing in my own ability. Um, you know, I can't get too caught up on, you know, the narrative of like it's being hard for small school guys to make it or we can't compete with, you know, Power five or anything like that. I, I can't get too caught up in that. I just, at the end of the day, got to believe in my own ability and that, you know, I belong here. The, um, um, some of your teammates and coaches have, have, have said that um, you, you were pretty aggressive from the start, which is um, often what uh, does not happen with, with a small school cornerback. You know, is that just your mentality that, you know, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to go down or come up swinging sort of thing? Um, you know, that's kind of how, you know, I was taught to play the game, you know. My, my dad taught me to play that way, always aggressive, you know. But, um, you know, I can't, this is an opportunity for me, you know. It's a once in a lifetime, I, you know, I can't be, I just can't let it slip away. So I got to do everything I can, you know, to stay. Thank you. Mark Canizero. Aaron, just a, a question re with regard to uh, to Joe Judge, and uh, I'm curious how you've seen him handle these difficult times as you've been losing. I know you haven't been around here a long time, but um, I'm just, you know, how has he kind of kept you guys motivated, and how do you feel like you guys responded to him during these tough times with the losing games? Um, you know, everybody in the building got a, a lot of pride. You know, we're all pros in a sense to where we want to win, you know what I'm saying? So nobody's throwing in the towel, like, yeah, we might have been eliminated from the postseason, but nobody's thrown in the towel. You know, we still got, you know, two games left that we're, we're trying to win, you know, especially with this one coming up. 